So there's, there's two things that are, that are really influential about William Eggleston. Um, one of those is his pioneering use of colour, but the other is his attitude to the everyday, his ability to notice small details in the everyday, small scenes or objects or, or views, kind of anecdotal things happening in the world that he would notice and take photographs of. Eggleston famously takes one um, shot of each thing that he photographs. He doesn't have multiple versions of the same image. There's a kind of um, a balance between great controlled composition and opportunistic attitude, taking uh, just the right picture at just the right moment. And you'll see that in this image here. It's a, a wonderful um, self-portrait, in fact, using a very, very low vantage point, holding the camera right down on the ground. And you'll see his reflection in the fender of this, of this car. Eggleston's known as, as a photographer of the South. Uh, he's always lived in Memphis, and you get a real sense of what's known now as Americana, as this sort of almost nostalgic looking back at some of the characteristic features of, of rural, small-town American life. Some of the works we have here show a sort of a, a balance of that, because you have the um, very new um, a gas station in the background with its sort of red, white and blue colours and in the foreground you have this um, kind of abandoned, destroyed kind of car from the previous generation. So you're getting in Eggleston's work always a mixture of, of the modern world and, and, um, and the sort of recently outmoded. This is a, a series of photographs that Eggleston made on the eve of um, an American election. But although this was a, a moment of great kind of political tension, um, almost everywhere in the, in the series Eggleston's ignoring the election. Instead you have these images of um, small town American life, very, very um, controlled, very calm. This is a great Eggleston scene of everyday life. You've got a, the interior of a um, an ice cream parlour, but it's, great. it's got a, a wonderful composition. You've, you've got this fantastic um, kind of glow of light coming from the window at the other end. And all over the, the interior you've got balances of different textures, different colours. And then you've also got her handbag left on the counter and you kind of wonder how she's going to pick it up again afterwards. It's kind of a nice observation. They're taken in the 70s and printed now. They're printed with the same uh, dye transfer process, which is this fantastic colour process that was being used in the 70s. And you can see incredible saturations of colour. We're, we're used to thinking of, of colour photography as, as a serious endeavour, but this was work made at a moment when black and white photography was the, was the sort of high art version of photography and colour photography was not taken as seriously so it's, it's a really interesting moment in the history of the medium and it's also interesting for us to, to look back at this moment and think about how it relates to the kind of pictures that we take today.